The Digital Signature Algorithm DSA is a federal information processing standard for digital signatures, based on the mathematical concept of modular exponentiation and the discrete logarithm problem. DSA is a variant of the Schnorr and Elgamal signature schemes. The National Institute of Standards and Technology (NIST) proposed DSA for use in their Digital Signature Standard (DSS) in 1991 and adopted it as FIPS 186 in 1994. Four revisions to the initial specification have been released. DSA is patented but NIST has made this patent available worldwide royalty free. Topic <inaudible> overview The DSA algorithm works in the framework of public key cryptosystems and is based on the algebraic properties of modular exponentiation, together with the discrete logarithm problem, which is considered to be computationally intractable. The algorithm uses a key pair consisting of a public key and a private key. The private key is used to generate a digital signature for a message, and such a signature can be verified by using the signer's corresponding public key. The digital signature provides message authentication the receiver can verify the origin of the message, integrity the receiver can verify that the message has not been modified since it was signed and non-repudiation the sender cannot falsely claim that they have not signed the message. History In 1982 the government solicited proposals for a public key signature standard. In August 1991 the National Institute of Standards and Technology proposed DSA for use in their Digital Signature Standard DSS. Initially there was significant criticism, especially from software companies that had already invested effort in developing digital signature software based on the RSA cryptosystem. Nevertheless, NIST adopted DSA as a federal standard in 1994. Four revisions to the initial specification have been released, FIPS 186-1 in 1998, FIPS 186-2 in 2000, FIPS 186-3 in 2009, and FIPS 186-4 in 2013. DSA is covered by U.S. Patent 5,231,668, filed July 26, 1991 and now expired, and attributed to David W. Kravitz, a former NSA employee. This patent was given to the United States of America as represented by the Secretary of Commerce, Washington, D.C and NIST has made this patent available worldwide royalty free. Klaus P. Schnorr claims that his U.S. patent 4,995,082 also now expired, covered DSA, this claim is disputed. <laughs> Operation The DSA algorithm involves four operations, key generation which creates the key pair, key distribution, signing and signature verification. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Key generation. Key generation has two phases. The first phase is a choice of algorithm parameters which may be shared between different users of the system, while the second phase computes a single key pair for one user. Topic parameter generation Choose an approved cryptographic hash function h with output length, h, h bits. 
In the original DSS, H display style H was always SHA-1, but the stronger SHA-2 hash functions are approved for use in the current DSS. If H display style H is greater than the modulus length n display style n, only the leftmost n display style n bits of the hash output are used. Choose a key length l display style l. The original DSS constrained L display style L to be a multiple of 64 between 512 and 1024 inclusive. NIST 800 to 57 recommends lengths of 2048 or 3072 for keys with security lifetimes extending beyond 2010 or 2030. Choose the modulus length n display style n such that n l display style n and n h display style n l e q h. FIPS 186 to 4 specifies l display style l and n display style n to have one of the values 1024 160 2048 224 2048 256 or 3072 256 choose an n display style n bit prime q display style q choose an l display style l bit prime p display style p such that p display style p minus 1 is a multiple of q display style q Choose an integer H display style H randomly from two P minus two display style two L dots P two compute G equals H P Minus one Q mod P display style G equals H carrot P one Q mod P in the rare case that G equals one display style G equals one try again with a different H display style H commonly H equals 2 display style H equals 2 is used this modular exponentiation can be computed efficiently even if the values are large the algorithm parameters are P display style p q display style q g display style g these may be shared between different users of the system topic per user keys Given a set of parameters, the second phase computes the key pair for a single user. Choose an integer x display style x randomly from 1 q minus 1 display style 1 l dots q1 compute Y equals G X mod P 
display style y equals g caret x mod p x display style x is the private key and y display style y is the public key topic key distribution the signer should publish the public key y display style y that is they should send the key to the receiver via a reliable but not necessarily secret mechanism the signer should keep the private key x display style x secret topic signing a message m display style m is signed as follows choose an integer k display style k randomly from 1 q minus 1 display style 1 l dots q1 Compute R equals G K mod P mod Q display style R equals left G carrot K B M O D P right B M O D Q in the unlikely case that R equals zero. Display style R equals zero. Start again with a different random k. Display style k. Compute S equals k minus one. H M plus X R mod Q display style s equals left k carrot minus one left H M plus X R right right B M O D Q in the unlikely case that s equals 0 display style s equals 0 start again with a different random k display style k the signature is r s display style left r s right the calculation of k display style k and r display style r amount to creating a new per message key the modular exponentiation in computing r display style r is the most computationally expensive part of the signing operation but it may be computed before the message is known calculating the modular inverse k minus 1 mod q display style k caret minus 1 b m o d q is the second most expensive part and it may also be computed before the message is known it may be computed using the extended Euclidean algorithm or using Fermat's little theorem as k q minus 2 mod q 
Display style K carrot Q two BMOD Q Topic verifying a signature one can verify that a signature R S display style left R S right is a valid signature for a message M display style M as follows verify that zero R Q display style zero and zero S Q display style zero Compute W equals S minus one mod Q display style W equals S carrot minus one B M O D Q. Compute U one equals H M W mod Q display style U underscore one equals H M C D O T W B M O D Q. Compute U two equals R W mod Q display style U underscore two equals R C D O T W B M O D Q Compute V equals G U one Y U two Mod P mod Q display style V equals left G carrot U underscore one Y carrot U underscore two B M O D P right B M O D Q. The signature is valid if and only if V equals R display style V equals R topic correctness of the algorithm the signature scheme is correct in the sense that the verifier will always accept genuine signatures this can be shown as follows first since G equals H P minus one Q mod P text style G equals H carrot P one Q tilde text mod tilde P it follows that G Q H P minus one one mod P text style G carrot Q equivalent H carrot P one equivalent one mod P by Fermat's little theorem. Since G greater than zero Display style G greater than zero and Q display style Q is prime G display style G must have order Q display style Q the signer computes S equals K minus one H M plus X R mod Q display style S equals K carrot minus one H M plus X R B M O D Q thus K H M S minus one plus X R S minus one H M W plus X R W mod Q display style begin aligned K and equivalent H M S carrot minus one plus X R S carrot minus one and equivalent H M W plus X R W P M O D Q end aligned since G display style G 
has order q mod p display style q tilde text mod tilde p we have g k g h m w g x r w g h m w y r w g u 1 y u 2 mod p display style begin aligned g caret k and equivalent g caret h m w g caret x r w and equivalent g caret h m w y caret R W and equivalent G carrot U underscore one Y carrot U underscore two P M O D P end aligned finally the correctness of DSA follows from R equals G K mod P mod Q equals G U one Y U two mod P mod Q equals V display style begin aligned R and equals G carrot K B M O D P B M O D Q and equals G carrot U underscore one Y carrot U underscore two B M O D P B M O D Q and equals V end aligned. Topic Sensitivity With DSA, the entropy, secrecy, and uniqueness of the random signature value k are critical. It is so critical that violating any one of those three requirements can reveal the entire private key to an attacker. Using the same value twice even while keeping k display style k secret using a predictable value or leaking even a few bits of k display style k in each of several signatures is enough to reveal the private key x display style x this issue affects both DSA and ECDSA. In December 2010, a group calling itself Fail Zero Overflow announced recovery of the ECDSA private key used by Sony to sign software for the PlayStation 3 game console. The attack was made possible because Sony failed to generate a new random K display style K for each signature this issue can be prevented by deriving k display style k deterministically from the private key and the message hash as described by rfc 6979 this ensures that k display style k is different for each H M display style H M and unpredictable for attackers who do not know the private key X display style X in addition, malicious implementations of DSA and ECDSA can be created where K display style K is chosen in order to subliminally leak information via signatures. For example, an offline private key could be leaked from a perfect offline device that only released innocent-looking signatures. Implementations <inaudible> 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 Below is a list of cryptographic libraries that provide support for DSA. Botan, Bouncy Castle, Cryptlib, Crypto Plus Plus, Lidgecrypt, Libsodium, Nettle, OpenSSL, Wolfcrypt. Topic. See also Modular arithmetic